In various GNS3 topologies, you may want to add a PC with a browser to your topology. The VPCS, which is built into GNS3, gives you a lightweight PC, but it's purely CLI based and doesn't give you a full Linux based operating system. You could also integrate a Windows PC with GNS3 as an example, but the resources used by Windows is very high and it may be more complex to integrate a Windows VM with GNS3 than it is by using an appliance from the GNS3 marketplace. One of the appliances in the GNS3 marketplace is the Firefox appliance. This is a lightweight Linux based appliance based on TinyCore Linux and has Firefox pre-installed. So to add the Firefox appliance to your GNS3 topologies, go to gns3.com, select Marketplace, Appliances, and search for Firefox. Click the Firefox appliance and click Download Template. Now in this example, I'm using a Mac, but the process is very similar on Windows. Now in GNS3, you can go to File, Import Appliance, go to your Downloads directory. In this case, my Mac renamed the appliance to a text file. So I'll set it back to GNS3 Appliance. So I'm gonna select the Firefox GNS3 Appliance in my Downloads directory and click Open. We told again what this appliance is. It's a Firefox appliance maintained by the GNS3 team. Architecture is i386 and KVM is preferred. I'm gonna click next. It's recommended that you run this appliance on the GNS3 VM. I'm gonna do that and click next. I'm told that my GNS3 server requirements are okay. So I'm gonna click next. Now the appliance just creates a shell for your operating system. So we still need to download the operating system. So I'm gonna select this file and click download. That takes me to sourceforge.net and downloads the file automatically. So back in GNS3, I can select the file and click refresh. And GNS3 has found the file and it's now ready to be installed. So I can click next. We asked whether we want to install the Firefox appliance and the answer is yes. QMU settings are available. I'm going to stay with the defaults and click next. A summary of the appliance is shown. This appliance requires 256 meg of RAM. So it's very small when compared to say Windows. So only a small amount of RAM is required. I'm going to click next. We told that the appliance will be available in the guest category. I'm gonna click finish. The appliance is now available. I'm gonna click okay. So in the end devices, we now see Firefox as a device. I'm gonna drag that to the GNS3 workspace. And what I'll do in this example is connect it to a NAT node. I'm using GNS3 2.0. If you don't see the NAT node, it's because you're using an older version of GNS3. I'm gonna connect the Firefox node to the NAT node and start up the network and open up a console. So the Firefox device has booted and a Firefox window has opened. So I could browse as an example to gns3.com. And there you go, I'm able to get to the GNS3 website. So this gives me a very basic browser in a small VM. The VM is running tiny core Linux, so you do have access to other applications within this VM. So as an example, I can use the command ifconfig to see the IP address that I was allocated. 
I could ping, as an example, my default gateway, and I could ping cisco.com, as an example, from this VM. But what is nice is it gives me a browser that starts up automatically when I open up this VM. And once again, I can browse to various websites from this VM. So this is a very easy way to add a browser-based VM to your GNS3 topologies and do that without consuming a lot of RAM. This VM is running within the GNS3 VM. It's very lightweight. It only uses 256 meg of RAM and one virtual CPU. So it has a very small footprint, but allows you to add a GUI with a web browser to your GNS3 topologies. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.